Good afternoon, socialites. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Ariel. I do beauty tutorials and reviews as well as lifestyle vlogs and fashion videos. So welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be doing a get ready with me. So I have a few errands to run and I'm not sure if I'll be going to eat or whatnot. So I thought, okay, I wanna get cute today. So let's chat, okay? Cause I like to spend, when I'm going somewhere for the day or have like plans for the day and I know I'm gonna be gone for the majority of the day. And even if I'm going out at night, me getting ready is like a little ritual. So I like to take my time, you know, give me a little cup of coffee today I have a little juice situation and then I just like to relax and get cute so get ready with me girl <laughs> so if you guys want to become a socialite because you guys are my socialites all you have to do is press that subscribe button if you want to see more from me and join the team girl so we're going to start off with the skin I'm going to use the Fenty primer this is the Fenty soft silk Pro Filter Primer, which is really, really good. Like, I highly recommend this primer. So yeah, we're gonna start off talking about shoes. <laughs> Y'all know I love shoes. I had put up a video on um, essential shoes that I think women over the age of 30 need in their collection. And I will link that video right here. Or is it right here? Just tap on that black tab and you'll be able to check out that video. It's really, really cute. But shoes, like I'm a shoe girl. I know everybody's not a shoe girl. Some people are more into the outfit than the shoes. And some people are just like a comfort shoe type of person, which it depends on the shoe when I care about the comfort. Depends on the shoe. So how do you guys feel about shoes? Like when you get a bomb pair of shoes, how does that make you feel? Like, do you feel empowered? Do you feel like sexy, fly? Like, what does a new pair of shoes do for you, honey? Like, what does that do? I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Foundation. I do wear the color 430W. If I don't tell you guys the exact color of what I'm using, everything I use will be linked down below in the description box. So I do let, like to let the primer sit for about a minute, minute and a half before I add the foundation so it's been sitting about a minute so let's throw this foundation I like to start off with the foundation in the areas that I need the most coverage first and then sort of just work off of that but yeah I'm a shoe girl I love shoes and me personally like a badass pair of heels or something it just makes me feel like the ultimate sexy and put together and I like switching things up a lot, except my hair. You, you guys, I've been wearing the same hairstyle for probably five or six years. Like I don't ever really switch up my hair. But other than that, I like to switch things up. And I think that's why I have my luxury eyelash brand. They're eyelash strips that you can apply every day. And I like to wear strips as opposed to the individuals because with the strips, you can switch up the look if you get what I'm saying. You have on extensions, they look the same every day. So it just depends on what you're into, girl. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, NC45. But yeah, I think that bomb pair of shoes, it just sort of speaks to my personality as well. Obviously, I buy shoes that I like. I'm just covering my little dark marks right here because I don't want to put more foundation and get that cakey look. We like this very skin-like look. And so let's keep that and just put concealer where we need it. But yeah, a bomb pair of shoes just makes me feel so sexy and put together. And I like to switch things up too. Like I don't like feeling the same, looking the same, doing the same things always. And I feel like new pair, a new pair of shoes does that for me. And it's a way for me to speak to my creativity by hooking up a look, an outfit, a look by hooking it up 
and then you know pairing it with that sort of unique or different or matching or whatever I'm going for pair of shoes right because that's part of the outfit obviously but I would love to know like how does a new pair of shoes make you guys feel like what does that do for you I do have one person that I'm cool with who um has a clothing boutique bomb clothing boutique and I, I do like her items and stuff but she always says she's not that because she knows how to put outfits together so well and she's like you know for her the shoes don't have to be like she doesn't have to switch up the shoes she's not super super into shoes like I am but her looks are always super bomb and she's like you don't need all of that you know like she's not into it and by me seeing her looks and how she's not into shoes as much as I am and the looks still be killing it I'm like so some people are more into shoes than others obviously is it necessary to be that into shoes and have like a thousand different pair and styles obviously she does it so the answer is no it's not necessary you can but especially if you really know how to put an outfit together and uh you know make it work with the shoes that you have then you don't need that many pair of shoes but me personally I just I'm a shoe person I'm into them so I know those would be purchases that I'll always be making all the time <laughs> I literally just ordered this morning some Rick Owens um, sneakers. I don't know if y'all are into Rick Owens, but they're like $800 sneakers. <laughs> but I ordered them just so that I can give myself another look. Like, you know what I mean? And it just, it for me, cause I wanna know what you guys think. Like, how does it make you feel like when y'all get new shoes? And obviously it depends on what you're getting them for. Like, are you buying some running shoes for the gym? Cause you need a good pair of running shoes for the gym or you know but if I'm buying them for like just styling purposes this is the rare beauty concealer if I'm just buying them for styling purposes then it's just kind of like it just makes me feel like put together like yes girl you did that you know what I mean Went ahead and put a lighter concealer on the inner corners just to brighten it up. You guys definitely don't have to go this bright, but I am today. So you guys, we are back outside. Um, I'm noticing that everything, I mean, things obviously have been opened up, but I'm noticing that it's a lot more things opening up, um, a lot more events. You guys saw in the last vlog that I posted. If you didn't see that last vlog, you guys need to watch that last vlog. I went to the Maxwell concert, so just click on the little black tab and watch that vlog. But I went to the Maxwell concert. It was Maxwell. Joe opened it up. Maxwell was the headliner and Anthony Hamilton was there as well. And I had an amazing time. So y'all watch that blog, blog and check out the concert. But with that being said, we back outside officially. Um, all kind of events that have been canceled. You guys like the Essence Fest is back i think this is the first essence fest since the whole COVID thing began but the essence fest is this summer in new orleans where it always is and i am really considering going to the essence festival so my question to you guys is how do y'all feel about being back outside like are y'all going to the essence fest would you consider going to the essence fest or if you're if you wouldn't consider it then why not you know what I mean? Like, how do y'all feel about it that everything is open and back up? Like big events like Essence Fest and these big concerts at major arenas. Um, I went to the rodeo. So I did record it. The video will be up soon of my trip to the Houston Livestock Rodeo. And I had an amazing time. Um, this was the first year that I saw it being so huge on Instagram. Like, I feel like... Instagram just really it was huge on Instagram the Houston rodeo this year and it's been every year since I was born you know what I mean like even before I was born and I was born and raised in Houston so that's always been like a staple for us but I feel like the rest of the world has somehow found out probably through social media about the rodeo and how awesome it is and it has been all over social media this rodeo season it's always it starts like around Valentine's 
Valentine's Day. So it usually goes from beginning to mid February all the way to nearly the end of March. So yeah, the world is back open, girl. So how do y'all feel about it? Are y'all still taking a lot of precaution or do you pretty much feel like it's sort of back to normal and you can kind of return to, you know, the normal way that we used to live? So it is pretty much spring, being that it's at the end of March and all. And I can't wait for these in and out cold spells to just be more out than in okay <laughs> i don't like the cold at all you guys i don't like visiting cold places i guess it's just spoiled me being born and raised someplace like houston because we generally just have good weather if you call hot weather good weather but we don't really get cold our cold weather is just in and out during the winter season and it's nothing like other places like it's very much bearable and for the most part, you don't really need a coat living here. Not really, but it, it just depends. It depends, but for the most part, you won't need one. And that's what I like. Like I said, I don't like cold places, nor do I like visiting places that get cold. So it works for me. I love it. So I can't wait till the summertime when it's just always hot every day. Like I would rather deal with hot weather than cold weather. Like period, like that's just how I feel about that. I'm still on the hunt for the perfect eyebrow product. For now, I'm using this Sephora eyebrow pencil in the color chocolate brown, which it does a great job. I really don't have any complaints about it, but I just been trying to find something that I'm like in love with, like some of the foundations that I use. I have some staple powders that I absolutely love, but I hadn't quite found an eyebrow product that I'm just totally in love with but this one I don't really have any complaints about it it's really awesome because I just got my hair colored yesterday back to its super light color my roots had got dark so I got it redone yesterday and whenever I freshly get my hair lightened, I like to lighten my eyebrow color as well, which I did yesterday, but only a tiny bit. So I think possibly this evening, maybe tonight before I go to sleep, I might lighten them a little bit more. But now that I'm looking in the camera, I think this might be good enough because I just wanted them to be slightly lightened, not like super dark. And this is giving me a medium tone brown, which is what I wanted. So maybe I achieved the goal, you guys. Maybe we're where we need to be. <laughs> and I just need to leave well enough alone. But I don't know. I'll think about it. As the day goes on, I'll see. Because I might lighten them a little bit more tonight. But we might roll with what we got going on now. We'll see. Okay, y'all. I think I want to go a little dramatic with the eyelashes. Lately, like the past maybe six months or so, I've been a little bit more conservative with the lashes. You guys know I own a company called Socialite Mink Lash where I sell the most luxurious 100% mink luxury eyelash strips and they are beautiful. Um, last several uses, well worth the money you guys. But I've been wearing the more conservative styles that I offer and I have four to choose from. So today I want to wear After Party. After Party is my most dramatic pair. Um, they're shorter on the inside and then go longer and fuller on the outside to give you like sort of like that cat eye effect. And that's what I'm doing today. So because of that, I wanna do like a bold wing liner and then add those. So yeah, if you like these, they'll definitely be linked down below in the description box. Oh, you guys, I have not worn after party in so long. I forgot what a vibe this style is. Social light mink lash in the style after party. You guys go get you some. The link is gonna be in the description box. And also I'll put, just click on the little black tab up here and it will take you to the website as well. So definitely a vibe. So you guys, I want to tell you about my very first giveaway. So I'm excited to announce my first giveaway. You guys, I plan on giving away a few pair of lashes 
every month and so we're gonna do a giveaway so I'm trying to get my followers up on Instagram I created an Instagram for the YouTube family for you guys the socialites so socialites in order to win a pair of socialite mink lashes what you have to do is just comment down below comment down below in the comments you can leave whatever comment you want to leave and then go follow me on Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here. Go follow me on Instagram and on Instagram, leave your YouTube name where you left the comment. Just leave a comment, your YouTube name as a comment on any pictures on my Instagram page. Okay. So just comment, follow me on Instagram and comment your YouTube name. Just type in whatever your YouTube name, you can leave an additional comment, but all you need is to leave your the name you go by on YouTube, on Instagram, on any picture that you want to, you guys. And that's what the giveaway will be. And I'm going to choose three winners to win a pair of Socialite Mink Lashes. That's it. I'm so excited for this giveaway. And so when the video goes up, I will be doing the giveaway seven days later. So on the next, the very next Get Ready With Me video, I will announce the winner of the giveaway. So I'll put the rules down in the description box just in case you need any additional clarity, but basically just comment down below anything that you want to follow me on Instagram and just leave a comment on any picture that you want of the name that you got go by on YouTube. For blush y'all, I'm gonna use the Dior blush. This is the Dior backstage blush in the color Rosy Glow. I know it looks like it's such a super Barbie pale pink and you're probably like, oh, how does that look good on a black girl? <laughs> but it just gives this beautiful, just Barbie pinkish glow in a way. And it actually looks really good on dark skin too. This is one of those blushes that looks great on any skin tone. You don't think it will. It's not super bold but it just delivers this really beautiful pink color, like really pretty, especially when you do like a nude or like a soft pink lip. I think it looks amazing, especially at night. I love this color on the skin at night. Okay, y'all for lips, I am going to do, we're gonna do a softer lip because we have this such a baby pink blush. I'm gonna use Cork Lip Liner from MAC Cosmetics, C-O-R-K, Cork. For lipstick, I'm gonna use Iman Nude, and this is from the cosmetic company Iman, and it's just a peachy nude. Y'all, I'm gonna have to take a picture. <laughs> I don't feel like my makeup is gonna be hitting, honey. So yeah, y'all, we need to, at this point, I need to hurry up and get out of here. So this is basically the look, okay? I'm gonna put a little gloss. I'm gonna take Boy Bait by MAC. This is one of their cream sheens. And it's sort of a soft pink, like a, a neutral pink, and it's, a little bit sheer, sort of sheerish. So yeah, boy babe. So y'all, what are we gonna put on? I need to find something to wear, so let's get ready. Let's pick out an outfit real quick. So the star of the show, you guys, is going to be this Sinbino handbag. I wanna thank Sinbino for sending me this handbag for review. I've already worn it a couple times and I absolutely love it. So this bag is the Vienna top handle bag that's made of vegan leather with a faux suede lining. So let's check this bad boy out. So I wanted to do a color block situation, which is why I chose that really cute hot pink top from Zara. So this is the bag here. It's sort of a hobo style bag. And it has the, obviously the Sembino name right here. It is this beautiful grass green color with the gold hardware. I love how I can wear it as a crossbody or just side uh, strapped purse. Or if I wanted to, I could go ahead and take the side straps off. And in fact, it will give me a completely different look. And I love that. 
about this bag so you can take the chain off and then just wear it like this with the handle which is how I'm gonna wear it today so to use it you have this snap here and then you would just simply open the bag so cute right I love that and it's very spacious you guys so I can literally fit my phone in here I can fit my wallet comfortably zip it back up and snap it closed just like that love this handbag you guys this grass green Sinbino bag retails for $109 and I will have the link to purchase this bag in the description box okay y'all so this is the look don't mind my daughter's science project right there we are working on it and we'll be done with that tonight i'm really excited for that science project well this is the look so the jeans are from ninth closet they specialize in jeans for tall girls women who have height to them they make the jeans long enough i'm between five eight and five nine and look how long these jeans are with super tall heels so ninth closet the top is from zara tennis necklace movado watch i love this watch and i just have some diamond stud earrings to go with my diamond tennis chain and then my sambino handbag so i did sort of a color block look today which i think it came out really cute i want to thank you guys for getting ready with me today and i'll see y'all later thanks for watching hey i got something something to say i'm just so sick of hearing everyone complain i know it's tough and I know there's pain, but hitting bottom is the only way to change So I'll keep hustling, you keep struggling Bitch, I'm humbling, keep mumbling I'll keep doubling, you keep bluffing